Merry Christmas, Santa's Little Helper. Matt with Eddie's Guitars coming to you, as always, from St. Louis, Missouri. I've got a guitar to show you folks today that uh, to say that we've waited a long time for it would be an understatement. This is from Martin's Custom Shop. And um, since the uh, announcement of this guitar, we have waited a long, long time to receive this guitar. And i got to tell you, it was entirely worth the wait. This is Martin's CS0041-15. Uh, a very limited edition guitar for 2015, which is a original creation out of Martin's Custom Shop. Kind of a 0041 style guitar with just an unbelievable amount of upgrades and very uh, highly customized options that this guitar has that you won't see on any other Martin model. And uh, this particular guitar is limited to only 75 pieces worldwide. We're very happy to get our hands on one of them. And uh, like I said, again, worth the wait for sure. You can see here a torrified or VTS treated Adirondack spruce top, a very nice rich golden color. And bordering that top is a 41 style abalone inlay. Very nicely done. And of course, an abalone uh, rosette going right around the sound hole as well. The body, the neck, and the headstock are all bound in a highly flamed, kind of warm, rich koa. Very nice detail there. All those colors working together really work very, very well. The back and sides of this guitar are rather wild. It's a Coco Bolo back and sides, very rich reddish orange color. And traveling right down the center of the back is the, uh, the tapered ribbon inlay, uh, just exquisitely done. Um, that's actually made up of East Indian rosewood and ma mahogany and uh, just some great contrast there against that that really rich looking coco bolo really really neat detail This does have a genuine mahogany neck with an inch and three quarter down at the nut width and two and three sixteenths spacing down here at the ebony belly bridge so a little bit tighter spacing down here on the bridge and up here on the headstock is a, uh, a coco bolo head cap veneer with that tapered uh, ribbon inlay continuation that matches the, the back of the guitar. Um, we've got gold open gear tuning machines with koa buttons on them, uh, really tying together with all that koa binding. The fingerboard of this guitar is, uh, is also very impressive. It's the, the concave square inlays, and those inlays are made up of abalone, mother of pearl, and mahogany, so some really cool color work happening there. Uh, really just tremendous attention to detail. I'll tell you, no matter where you look on this guitar, there's something to appreciate on it. Every square inch is really impressive and just really uh, a lot of craftsmanship that's gone into this. We've got the, uh, the fully scalloped uh, quarter inch Adirondack braces underneath the VTS treated Adirondack top. Uh, you can tell for a Coco Bolo guitar, this is a fairly light guitar, so I think it was very lightly built. Um, for a Coco Bolo guitar, this is a little on the brighter side. It's not the, uh, the most bassy guitar I've ever heard, especially considering a Coco Bolo guitar. Uh, but very, very nice for articulate finger style work. The, the James Taylor voice really comes out of this guitar very, very well. And this neck carve here is the... Uh, modified low oval neck with a performing artist taper to it. So it's a very, very comfortable neck to play. It's not an enormous neck at all. I would describe it as kind of a medium to slimmer size neck. Very, very playable. We ought to go take a listen to this beauty. It is all good.
Such a sweet and articulate voice out of the Martin CS0041-15. Just a really rare and unique guitar with a just gorgeous voice. Uh, nice delicacy to this voice. Perfect for fingerstyle applications. It's got that nice, really rich, really ringing sustain out of it. Plenty of chime, but plenty of balance to that bottom end too. The construction of this guitar, like I said before, is rather lightly done and you can tell in the voice of the guitar not necessarily a guitar i would go rip roaring on with a flat pick but for uh you know lighter finger style applications it is just lovely you know the short scale of this guitar as well as the neck profile of the guitar make it awfully easy to play uh, and again just the detail work is really what the guitar is all about just uh, the, the really unique ribbon inlays and the the really Great looking, very articulate uh, fingerboard inlays, just so stunning and great to look at. Uh, really a, a very cool guitar, one that I would be proud to add to anyone's stable of uh, you know nice Martin Custom Shop guitars. We're very glad to have it here. If you'd like to come see it in our store, I would do it in a hurry. I don't think this one's going to last long due to the rare nature of the uh, particular model. If you can't check it out uh, in person in our store, certainly check it out on our website, eddiesguitars.com. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel here. We'll see you guys next time.